Making a video explaining my absence, abs, abten, uh, <sighs> making a video explaining my absence is, in my opinion, the biggest goddamn waste of time I can give you. So let's do it, why don't we? <laughs> so this is weird. I guess this is a vlog. This is a vlog. I mean, may I check that one up off the list? It's a vlog. Perfect. Ever since I started YouTube, I assumed anyone who ever watched me watched me for the game. The game that I play, the story behind the game that I play, and the way that I read the story. I assume that's it. No one cares about this guy. That sounds really like depressing, but it's not very far from the truth. I mean, I don't think people really don't care about. It. I just they're, they're here for the game, not me. <laughs> but despite that nonsense, a lot of you actually do want to know about me. And I've never actually put myself out there. Other than telling asinine stories and playing video games. That's what I do. I will wake up, find a game, record it, be my goofy little fucker self, upload it, and go about my day. You guys watch it, you guys enjoy it. Great. I reply to you, and the world is merry. I don't, I never saw why anyone would really be interested in this guy. But... As I'm learning, holy shit, yes you are. Why? Because you're weird. Sorry. But at the same time, I guess I can kind of understand, because I'm going to give the game grumps as an example. I love watching the grumps. They're funny. But when they do their little live action skits or whatever, example, last Christmas, whenever they're opening presents, I loved that. I enjoyed the crap out of it. It's like... There they are, being themselves. Wow. So I guess it's the same concept, except I'm no Danny Sexbay. Or am I? Get used to it, because I'm doing the rest of the video on this thing. Ah. What's it talking about? So someone asked me what to expect in the future. What is this, a goddamn interview? I don't know. I couldn't keep a straight face of that. What you could expect from me in the future? Probably the exact same damn thing I'm doing right now. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm currently in just one of one of those ruts. One of those ruts I am. I normally get in. I will start doing great, and then I will be in a rut. So what I really want to do right now, instead of worrying about uploading and getting something out there for you to watch, I want to take this moment of your time to really say thank you. Now I know you're thinking, Vashi Poo, what are you talking about? Well, stranger, friend, everything. I mean, there's not much I have right now, but I'm extremely grateful for what I do. Doing this is amazingly fun. I love doing it, and I love the response, I love the reaction, I love everything you give me. And don't take it personally when I don't upload daily, because it's not you. That's silly for me to even say. I'm sure you never even thought that. It's not you, it's me. Wow, I'm a douche. Did I just say that? I just said that. Whoo! Point being is, I'm lazy, yes. I'm really lazy, but that's not the point. The point is, I get in these ruts, because... Yes, this is really fun to do. And I love doing it, I love making people smile. But I've been doing it so long, and I have had a schedule set so long, and I'm probably long overdue making this video because I've been at this for almost two years now. When I first started two years ago, I was every weekday. Every weekday off weekends, I rarely ever skipped a beat. And then last Christmas, I was done. I officially said to myself and my friends, I'm done doing YouTube. It's not funny anymore. And then Alice Mayer dropped into my life and that had saved a lot of stuff. But it was never really the same after that. And the point being behind that, which is the whole reason why I'm saying, I'm talking and saying words, English is coming out of my mouth, kind of, because I suck at it, is this point. Even though you love doing it, and it's really, really fun, when you make yourself do it, i.e. making a set schedule every day, and if you miss that schedule, you feel like shit, then it starts to feel like a job. 
I don't care what anyone says. I don't care despite this, despite that. If you make yourself do it, sooner or later it will feel like a job. Even though it's playing video games and it's an amazing reaction and a great response from everybody and a huge thank you for everything you've given me, it starts feeling like a job. And to avoid me ever actually making it fully feel... Holy shit, I can speak English, right? I was born here. Woo! <laughs> the points... The reasons why I disappear is because my biggest fear is if I keep making myself do it, I will end up hating it. Because me as a person, I hate work. I hate work. I hate work so much. I hate it. I love my job. If you don't know what I am, I'm a caterer for the university. I wear a bow tie and a vest, and it's a really easy job. I say easy. It's easy, but I love it too. I get to... They treat us very well. I love my job. But I hate working. And I'm sure a lot of you will understand what I'm talking about. And if YouTube becomes work, I don't want to do it. And that sentence right there, actually I'm going to circle that sentence and draw a little line with an arrow that says, main point. That's, that's the sum up right there. Right? Yeah. No, that's, that's good. That's a good sum up right there. When YouTube becomes work, I don't want to do it. And when it feels like a job, it becomes work. And when, it, when I make a schedule of it, it feels like a job. See where it all fit together. All pieced in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me six minutes to say that. See if I can get any. Anywho, that's just me. That's that's me. You know a little bit about me, a little bit about why I'm really bad at what I do, and why I fear YouTube becoming a job. And if you understand, thank you. I'll get better over time. Because, like it or not, I have to work to live anyways, so I might as well get over it. At any rate, I'm gonna go now. Boy.